Supreme Court has once again expressed displeasure over the huge pendency of cases in different courts across the country on Friday. As per the data available with the National Judicial Data Grid, NJDG, huge numbers of cases are pending in the level of high court and lower courts in all the states including Odisha. Death of Assistant Sub-Inspector, ASI, Alisa Narmi Lagun was caused by excited delirium, informed Raurkula SP Mitrabhanu Mahapatra. SI Lagun's post-mortem was videographed in the presence of magistrate. After receiving the post-mortem report, we had sent it to AIIMS, Bhuvneshwar which was examined by the institution's professor of forensic medicine. The doctor of masses Shankar Ramchandani, an assistant professor of medicine at Windsor, Burla, has once again drawn the attention of all across the state for another noble reason. The low-pressure area over Bay of Bengal, which lies as a well-marked, is very likely to intensify into a depression over west-central Bay of Bengal by Sunday. The IMD, in its latest bulletin, stated that low-pressure area over the southwest and adjoining southeast Bay of Bengal. Three senior Congress leaders from Odisha will campaign for the party candidates in forthcoming Assembly elections in Chhattisgarh. The designated court under the Opid Act, Katak, has passed an ad interim order of attachment absolute, confirmed, of the properties of M.S. Surya Nirman Resources Private Ltd. and directed the competent authority, i.e. income competent authority under the Opid Act, Kata. On the auspicious occasion of Maha Saptami, renowned sand artist Padmashri Sudarshan Patnayak made a beautiful sand art of Goddess Durga, wishing success of ISRO's space mission Gaganya. The state government has decided to train people regarding alertness for lightning and other natural calamities in vulnerable districts. In the first phase, the training program will be held in 10 lightning-prone districts including Mayurbhanj, Ganjam, Keonjhar, Balasore, Katak, Sundargarh, Nabarangpur, Jajpur, Balnagir, Koraput. The state-level conference for Rabi campaign 2023-24 was inaugurated by Minister, Agriculture, Farmers, Empowerment and Fisheries ARD, Pranendra Pratap Swain at the State Convention Centre, Loka Seva Bhavan in Bhuvneshwar on Friday. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar on Saturday visited Nalhar village in Noh district that was hit by violence on 31st July. He performed puja at the Nalheshwar Mahadev Temple for happiness and prosperity. Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shivkumar said on Saturday that he never claimed to have brought the Congress to power in Karnataka single-handedly, while asking the Congress legislators not to disclose to media power sharing, support, and other matters with regard to the Lok Sabha polls. Nifty opened lower and remained negative throughout the session to close with loss of 82 points at 19,543 levels. Selling continued in broader market with Nifty mid small cap AXO indices down minus 8%, 0.8%. Except private bank, all sectors ended in red, he said. Noting the discrimination in determining compensation given for the land acquisition process for the expansion of the air base being built by the Seabird Naval Base and the construction of a civil enclave in Karwar, Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharmiya on Saturday promised to take action to resolve this issue under the Land Acquisition Act. BJP's politics in Rajasthan seems to be becoming more like a cobweb as things are getting entangled in different nets. The more the high command tries to clean these cobwebs, the more they are getting entangled. Mahua Moitra, the Trinamool Congress Lok Sabha member from the Krishnangar constituency in West Bengal's Nadia district, on Friday questioned the chairman of the Ethics Committee of Parliament over the media interaction. With almost one month left for the 200-member Rajasthan Assembly election, the Congress on Saturday released its first list of 33 candidates, which includes names of Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot, his former deputy Sachin Pilat, senior party leader C.P. Joshi among others. Accusing the BJP-led central government of being habitual in strangulating the institutions, the Congress on Saturday said that Controller Auditor General of India, CAG, which used to release reports independently under the UPA era, is now hardly publishing any reports. Out of the 118 MLAs in Telangana analyzed, 
72 of them face criminal cases against them while 46 have serious criminal cases, a report revealed on Saturday. The report also said that 59, which is 58% of the 101 MLAs of the ruling Bharat Rashtra Samithi faces criminal cases. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar claimed that Tejasvi Yadav is like his son and the CM is doing everything for him in Bihar. Nitish Kumar's clarification came after he earlier expressed his deep friendship with BJP and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In a recent judgment, the Supreme Court expressed its anguish at litigation pending for over 50 years saying that because of judicial delays, litigant public is getting disillusioned of justice delivery system. Trinamool Congress leader Kunal Ghosh, in a social media post on Saturday, mildly hinted that the party is all set to project West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee as the prime ministerial candidate for the 2024 Lok Sabha polls. With the arrest of two accused into separate operations, the Delhi police on Saturday claimed to have busted a racket dealing in prohibited firecrackers and recovered 1104 kilograms of illegal firecrackers in the national capital. Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Saturday paid homage to the martyred personnel on the occasion of Police Commemoration Day, saying border security or internal security is not possible without an alert police force. Riding on a high after winning the mixed doubles gold with Rohan Bopanna in the Hangazha Asian Games, Indian tennis star Rutuja Bhosle is now aiming to secure a place in the 2024 Paris Olympics and breaking into the top 200 to ensure more Grand Slam appearances. New Zealand captain Tom Latham revealed that veteran fast bowler Tim Southey available for selection in the side's 2023 Mains ODI World Cup clash against India at the HPCA Stadium on Sunday. Latham added that regular captain Kane Williamson is still nursing a fractured thumb and hoped for him to be fit in time. Indian test batter Cheteshwar Pujara gave his take following Virat Kohli's remarkable achievement of scoring his 48th ODI century against Bangladesh, which he accomplished by strategically refraining from taking singles in the final overs of the run chase. Case Shuttles Pramod Bhagat and Sukant Kadam kickstarted their para-Asian Games campaign with a win. Pramod Bhagat defending his Asian medal gold started his campaign with an easy win over Chinese Thaipis H.S. in Chehua. Pakistan pacer Shaheen Shah Afridi came out brilliant yet again on a day when the Australian batter tore through the Pakistan bowling attack and dominated the inning to post a mammoth target of 367 by 9 in 50 overs at M. Chinnaswamy Stadium, here on Friday. Bollywood star Kangana Ranaut's latest film Tejas has released its latest track Dil Hai Ranjhana. A powerful and ferocity-laden track, Dil Hai Ranjhana is a theatrical piece that perfectly complements the fearless and determined persona of the actress. Actress Janhavi Kapoor, who is known for films like Gunjan Saxena, The Kargil Girl, Ruhi and Bawal, will kickstart the second shoot schedule of her under-production film Devra on 24th October.